Hi everyone, welcome back to CCT News. We're your hosts, the co-chairs of the Consumer Culture Theory 2022 conference, broadcasting from our studio at Oregon State University. I'm Amy Huff. And I'm Michelle Barnhart. In today's news, registration for the 2022 CCT conference is now open. We are finalizing the program and looking forward to seeing what promises to be three days of interesting and high quality presentations. The program should be available in mid-May. To register, go to the conference website, cctc2022.org. This year's conference will be CCT's first hybrid conference with both in-person and remote participation options. Hybrid, that sounds complicated, Michelle. <laughs> well, Amy, it's only complicated for the organizers. For attendees, it's actually really simple. In-person attendees will gather on the campus of Oregon State University. Programming starts on the morning of Thursday, July 7th, and runs through the evening of July 9th. That means in-person attendees will want to arrive by Wednesday to participate in the full program. Remote attendees will connect to the conference in real time via Zoom. Okay, that does sound simple. Plus, everyone can participate in a new first time ever real time virtual event on June 30th on the platform GatherTown. It's, it will include a working paper session arts and photography gallery, and a poetry and spoken word reading, as well as time to reconnect and socialize. Ah, thanks, Michelle. We're already hearing from CCTers around the world that they're excited to finally have a chance to see each other again. For those of you who are able to travel to the conference, here's what to expect. You'll fly into Portland International Airport, then walk out of the terminal and step onto a shuttle. In about two hours, the shuttle will drop you off at the door of your hotel. You do need to make a reservation for the shuttle. You can find the link for reservations on the travel page of the conference website. And of course, rental cars are also available. So then is there just one conference hotel, Amy? <laughs> Great question, Michelle. There are actually multiple accommodation options. The shuttle will drop riders at any one of them. Hotel information is also available on the website. Here are some things that attendees should think about when choosing where to stay. So this map shows campus on the left and downtown on the right. The conference venue is on the OSU campus, which is about a 20 minute walk from downtown Corvallis, where you'll find restaurants, bars, and the venue for the Saturday night closing gala. So attendees who want to be really close to the conference venue should stay at the Hilton Garden Inn, which is a five minute walk to the conference and a 20 minute walk to downtown. Attendees who want to be close to restaurants, bars, and the closing gala should stay at the Courtyard Marriott. It's right downtown and a 20 minute walk to the conference. Attendees who are a bit more budget conscious and don't mind walking a little further or taking an Uber can stay at the Holiday Inn Express, just north of the downtown. It's a 35 minute walk to the conference and a 15 minute walk to downtown. There are also low cost dormitory style accommodations available on campus. Thanks, Amy. Um, sounds like a lot of great choices. So now, if you're wondering about COVID precautions for the conference, here's the most recent information. OSU's current policy is that in-person attendees will not need to show proof of vaccination. Similarly, masks are welcome on the OSU campus, but they're no longer required. In addition, for anyone who prefers to keep a mask on when indoors, all conference events that include food and drink will take place in spaces with easy to access lovely outdoor areas, such as the terraces at the closing gala, where you can take off your mask and eat and drink in the fresh air. Ah, oh, that sounds great, Michelle. The summer here in Oregon is so beautiful and I can't wait for other CCTers to experience it. To register, attendees should go to the conference website where, you, where they'll find all of the details about what's included in remote and in-person registration, as well as how to start or renew membership in the CCT consortium. CCT consortium members receive a discount on the conference registration rate. Now, speaking of registration rates, we want to say a big thank you to our conference sponsors. <laughs> Those sponsors help to keep registration fees as low as possible for this newly expanded three-day hybrid conference. Thank you to the Oregon State University College of Business and the School of Marketing, Analytics, and Design, the Marketing Department at the Sam Walton College of Business at the University of Arkansas, the Paul Mirage School of Business at the University of California, Irvine, the Journal of Consumer Research, RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia, and Two Towns Cider House here in Corvallis. Thank you all for your support. Yay. So be sure to register no later than May 31st to get the best rates. 
Also, if you want to come to the closing gala, get your tickets now because space is limited. And if you're trying to decide if you should register, of course you should. Check out the website to see what you'll be missing if you don't. And if you're wondering about things to do in Oregon, check out our previous video for an overview of Oregon attractions. Of course, we hope you will come in person. But if you can't travel, you can register for remote participation and still enjoy a high quality, real-time interactive conference experience. We look forward to seeing you in July.